Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and in today's video, we're gonna look at the settings in the app Things 3. Uh, so just how you can customize the app to work a little bit better for you. Uh, some of these things aren't on by default, so you have to turn them on to get more value out of the app. And I just wanna show you so you have an idea if you use Things 3 and can get more out of it, or if you don't use the app and kind of are spurred some inspiration by what this app can do, um, you might see it in this video. So let's just jump in to the Mac version. I'll show the iPhone version afterwards because there's a few different things. Um, the iPhone and the iPad are basically the same, so I'm only gonna show the iPhone in this uh, video. So in the app, I can either use the traditional Mac shortcut of command comma, or I can hit the settings icon down here in the left navigation. Uh, and then there's a couple sections here. I'm not gonna go over everything. I just wanna go over the ones that I think are interesting and you wanna maybe make sure are set up correctly for you. Uh, so this first one here is a checkbox for group to do's in the today list by project or area. So if I move this out of the way, you can see that I have areas set up and projects and there's one for work and I have a to do here. There's three I have for my Birch Tree project and one for just home. Uh, I think, I don't know if it's default, but you can have your today view show up like this, where they're totally just mixed together and I could kind of drag like this one to the top and this one to the bottom and these could be all separated out. Personally, I don't like this as much, so I like to have them grouped by project um, and area so that they're easier to just navigate. Uh, it also follows your organization here on the side uh, in the sidebar. So if I move Birch Tree above work, then in the today view, the Birch Tree ones will go above the work ones. I actually want to have this one here. Um, but yeah, you can kind of customize how the today view looks that way. So that's really, really helpful. That's thing number one. Um, you can change things uh, that are over here as well, but we're not going to for here. They're fine by default. Things Cloud is the free sync service that comes with Things 3. So Things 3, you pay up front for the app on every device that you want it. And then you can use their free syncing service. And I really, really recommend using it if you're using it across different devices. All you have to do is set up an account, uh, give them it's just username and password, and you're good. Again, you don't pay anything for it. Uh, so make sure you have this set up. Just turn it on and sign in for an account um, when you first get it going. Quick entry on the Mac is a really great thing and one of the things that I think makes the app really fantastic. Uh, so this first one is on by default and it's a shortcut for just doing quick entry anywhere. So uh, it's control space. So if I kind of just hide things, things isn't on my desktop at all. If I hit control space, then I bring up this task entry thing. So I could do thing, tab through to notes. Uh, this is something I need to do. Uh, I can tab through all these to kind of do everything and I can arrow through here. Uh, I'll just type out uh, 8 p.m. And so that'll be today. I can add tags, I can add it, uh, add checklist to it. I can set a deadline, I can add it to a project. So I'll add it to my work project and then I can save it, right? And that's it. Uh, and it disappears, it goes away. I can hit the keyboard shortcut again to bring up a new one. Uh, but if I go back to things and hide my preferences, you'll see, hey, it's right here. It has the note, it has the due date and it's put under my work project. So that's a really nice thing to have. Uh, and if I pull up the preferences again, there's also this enable shortcut for quick entry with autofill. Uh, so if I pull up Safari real quick, if I want to save this web page, and this really works in browsers, um, Safari, Chrome, Firefox, it works. I don't think it works in Edge, doesn't work in Vivaldi. It works in a lot of browsers though, most of the big ones. Um, if I hit that keyboard shortcut, which by default you can change, but by default is Control, Option, uh, Spacebar, then I bring up that same kind of pop-up, but it has the name of the website, the URL filled in here, so that I get that automatically. And if I wanna just save it to my inbox, all I do is hit uh, command enter and it's saved to my inbox. And so I can go to uh, things and I have it in my inbox and there it is. So that's the task that was made. It's really nice for saving websites really quickly uh, if you ever need to do that. Um, so there you go. Uh, you can also change where these go by default. So you can make them go to the inbox by default or the today view by default. I like the inbox because sometimes I don't wanna actually do them today, but you can choose whatever you want there. The next one is the last one I'm actually going to show uh, is you can sync your uh, things app with reminders. So if you add a reminder to the reminders app, <laughs> you can have it so the things automatically pulls that in. So I actually have this turned off right now, but I'm gonna turn it on. So if I turn this on, things is gonna ask uh, for access to my reminders. Uh, and then it's going to say, okay, when I see a new reminder in this um, inbox, so it's gonna show me all of my reminders categories. Uh, so I'll just do the default reminder section. Whenever it does that, add these to my inbox. And so I'm gonna show you how that works now. 
Okay, so I've got reminders and things side by side here. I don't actually use reminders, uh, so it's pretty blank right now. Um, but if I wanted to add something, let's say I want to add it from my HomePod, or I just want to add it through Siri, or whatever. I want to add it in some method that adds it to reminders, but not things. Um, this is going to be really cool, so I can do um, something else, and it's going to be do at uh, today, 4 p.m., right? So it's due today oh, and I, at a time, I guess. I uh, will do 3 p.m. Okay, so now I have a reminder item uh, under my reminders list for something else today at 3 p.m. So now you may have noticed already over in the inbox, I have a two there now. And you can see this from reminder section is here. So there's one called something else, which is this guy, and it's due today at 3 p.m. So if I import this, uh, it's going to, um, just tell me this the first time I do it. But if I import this, you'll notice it was removed from reminders. It was marked as complete or just deleted from reminders. I'm not exactly sure exactly which one it is. Um, but it was removed from there and then it was added to my today view because it's due at 3 p.m. And from here, I can do whatever I want with it. I can add it to uh, my work one. I can add it to Birch Tree Home, like any of these, right? I can add it to my shopping list. Um, all of those work just fine. Um, so that's a really nice way to, if you have a way to get things into reminders, but not a way to get it directly into things, this is a nice kind of bridge to get you there. And they just automatically show up and you do have to manually kind of see them in your inbox and hit that import button, but it works really nicely. Okay, so now I've got my iPhone here and I'm gonna take you through uh, the things that I can do here for the settings. So I'm on my today view and you can kind of see that's exactly what was on my Mac. But if I go back, I'll see the sidebar and then down here at the bottom, there's settings. And so a lot of this is the same. Things cloud is the same, calendar events. Uh, this is something I didn't look at on the Mac, but if you want to see calendar events, uh, on your today view, you can turn this on. It's gonna ask for access to your calendar and then it's going to look through the calendars on your device and uh, you can choose which ones of those you wanna have events show on your uh, things today view. Uh, I don't use this because I use Fantastical for my calendar and that's enough for me. I don't need that in things, but that could be useful for you. Uh, reminders inbox is exactly the same. Uh, you can kind of see that set up here. Uh, Siri is gonna be an option on the iPhone and iPad that you don't have on the Mac for preferences. Um, basically, this just shows you how to use uh, Siri with things. Uh, shortcut support. Uh, there's some stuff here to create shortcuts quickly. Um, appearance. So it goes automatic by default. And I think on the Mac, you only have automatic as an option. Um, but you can also set it uh, to be always light, always dark, or use a black theme. Um, and yeah, so automatic dark or automatic and black. So whichever dark theme you prefer, I prefer the normal dark one, but yeah. And then you can have the widgets uh, decide what theme they want to use as well. So that's all pretty nice. Uh, the general is basically the same. You can change the badge count, what that shows. Um, all of this is basically the same uh, that we're used to. And yeah, that is really it. Those are the settings that I think you should take a look at. You don't necessarily have to do the same settings as me, but hopefully this shows you how they're useful and you can get more value out of Things 3. So once again, thank you so much for watching. This video was not sponsored by Things, just an app that I really enjoy and wanted to share uh, just a little info information about it so you can get more value out of the app. So thank you again, once again, for watching. I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.